right, fellas, I'm about to talk about some game changers. So if you don't watch this video, or if you don't share it out to one of your friends, it's just it's your fault, all right? That's it. It's your fault. I posted it, all right? And YouTube notified you at some point. It might be a year later. <laughs> but they notified you at some point. So if you don't watch it and find out about these, it's your fault. Don't blame me. YouTube was good, man. She got Darren the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. The fashion and fragrance guy it is. I talk about fashion and fragrance. Mostly fragrance. But I give you some fashion and style tips as well. So if you like that, looking good, smelling great, both or one, it doesn't matter to me. Make sure you hit subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell icon as well. So that way, when I upload a new video, you'll get notified. On today's video, guys, I want to talk about some game changers. Now, what constitutes a game changer to me is, number one, obviously, the fragrance has to smell great. Number two... It's a fragrance that can change the game because it can have you smelling different from most people that you're going to come into contact with. So that's going to exclude a whole lot of super popular fragrances. All right, so you're not going to see the most popular fragrances on this list. No, you won't see Blue de Chanel on this list. Although it's a great fragrance, a lot of people have Blue de Chanel. I have it. It's great. But the ones I'm going to talk about today, like I said, are lesser known fragrances. So when you walk into an environment, not only going to smell great, but you're not going to smell like everybody else in the room. These can really change the game for you. See what I did there? So if you want to see what I have on the list, you know the routine. Keep it locked right here. Let's get it. Yeah, brother. Yeah, yeah. The Bowtie Fragrance Guy. All right, guys, we're back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's jump right into this video. The first fragrance that I want to talk about, the reason why a lot of people aren't going to wear this, because number one, the house is not a super popular house, and number two, the fragrance is super expensive. So you don't have to buy the entire bottle. Get yourself a sample. This comes from a brand of Royal Crown. This is called Celebration. Woo, fellas, I'm telling you now, mint, lemon, iris, oak moss, Listen, if you love mint and you love lemon, you have to put your nose on this. This summer, don't even ask, it's gonna be on my top 10 summer niche fragrance list for sure. Somewhere near the top. Because it is that good if you like a fresh, citrusy fragrance. The mint and lemon somehow in this fragrance lasts for an eternity. <laughs> and this fragrance brand is really expensive because they do, um, utilize a lot of naturals in their fragrances. So they tend to last a little bit longer. The mint smells photorealistic, even to the point when you actually apply this fragrance to your skin, the mint is gonna give you a cooling sensation on your skin. Seriously, natural ingredients. Only naturals can do that kind of stuff. But guys, if you like a fresh citrus fragrance, this is gonna change the game for you, man. From the brand of Royal Crown, check out Celebration. All right, guys, the next fragrance up on the list comes from the brand of Roger Parfums, and this is Taif Aoud. Taif Aoud. This is aldehyde, Taif Rose Musk Geranium. Really fresh. The aldehydes. I love aldehydes. Very clean, soapy uh, opening. The ger geranium gives a freshness to it and almost kind of helps contribute to that rosy nuance in here. But the Taif Rose, man, it is really powdery. It's a soft, delicate rose, but I love the way it's utilized here in this fragrance. I actually got this one from Twisted Lily, guys. Twisted Lily, I highly recommend Twisted Lily to shop for your fragrances online. They are an online fragrance boutique and they offer a variety of fragrances. Not only do they have full bottles from a lot of brands, but oftentimes you can get samples as well um, at Twisted Lily. So I highly recommend you guys check it out. I do have a code, which is Darian10, if you wanna check out something on the site if you want to check out tape rolls or anything else make sure you utilize that code over at twisted lily but this is an amazing fragrance it's unlike any other uh rose fragrance that i have in my collection if you never smelled um a fragrance with taif rose in it it's a little bit different from most of the other varieties of rose that uh you may have come across whether it's damask rose turkish rose 
or whatever the case may be. Taif Rose seems to be like an upper class rose again because that soft, powdery nuance and freshness that this one particular rose provides. But anyway, I absolutely love it. I love rose fragrances and with as many rose scents as I have, it's hard for me to get something that is rose centric and unique, but they accomplished it here with the Rose Your Parfums Taif Aou. So if you're a rose lover, check this one out guys. I think you will enjoy it. All right, and for you amber lovers out here, an amber fragrance that nobody talks about. From the brand of Stephen Humber Lucas, this is Takla Makan. All right, Takla Makan. And this is of course amber, patchouli, and sandalwood. This is so good, man. This is so good, man. There's sandalwood in here. Cause there's a lot of sandalwood infused in this fragrance with that amber accord. It's just next level, guys. You gotta put your nose on it. Like I said, it's very unique amber fragrance. I've never smelled anything like this. It's almost this like almost crystallized candied type of accord in the opening of this fragrance that combines with that amber and to put you in the sandalwood. Oh man, this is such a creative scent profile. Like I said, you're gonna smell different. Definitely you're gonna smell different and nobody's talking about this fragrance. So check it out, man. An amazing, unique amber take on the note of amber. From the brand of Stephen Humber Lucas, this is called Takla Makai. Another fragrance I highly recommend to you gentlemen that will be a game changer is from the brand of Mind Games. This is Sisa. This is Sisa. And what you're gonna get here is sesame, a creamy milk accord, pause, taco bean, vanilla, and lapidum. Guys, I love what sesame does in a fragrance because it gives this really nutty pause again. Jesus Christ. So you got nutty nuance and you got creamy milky. Never mind. All right. Has this got an X rated? What's going on here, guys? Seriously. Jesus Christ. <laughs> but I love that sweetness on the dry down, man, with the tonka bean and the vanilla and all that, the labinum. This is such a good fragrance. It gets a little smoky on the dry down, but that kind of nutty nuance from the sesame core lasts pretty much the duration of the fragrance. I love this stuff. I think it's something that you guys need to put on your radar from the brand of Mind Games. This is called Seaside. All right, guys, another, this next fragrance comes from the brand of Louis Vuitton, another very unique scent profile, and this one is called Nouveau Monde. Nouveau Monde, this is um, oud, leather, cacao, saffron, caramel, vanilla. Like I said, some people have kind of compared this to Ombre Nomad, but this is different. That uh, cacao uh, in here was a denser cacao, so it's not like doesn't have really a chocolatey nuance, uh, but almost like a powdery uh, cacao. You know, so it's not sweet, it's more dense, almost bitter, but it works here because of the leather, the saffron, the oud, and then the caramel, what gives a little bit of sweetness here, and that's what you definitely don't get with uh, Ombre Nomad. That's more traditional rose oud with the raspberry, but that caramel is a game changer. This is a very unique scent profile, and I love this stuff. So again, if you want to smell unique and definitely stand out, check this one out, guys. I love Ombre Nomad as well. Rightfully so, it gets the acclaim. But this is the sleeper. Check out Nouveau Monde. Guys, you are doing yourself a disservice if you don't have this in your collection with the spring and summer not too far on the horizon. From the brand of Narcotica, this is Narco Oasis. My God, I don't have words for this. Passion fruit, vanilla, peach, Brown sugar, taco bean. Oh, <sighs> think about it doesn't smell like this, but think about what um, think about Chanel Allure Homme Edition Blanche. What that fragrance does with the nice lemony citrusy opening, then that really creamy vanilla sandalwood dry down. It kind of does that. It kind of it's a similar kind of scent structure, but again, you got the passion fruit in here instead of lemon, and then the dry down is really still that vanilla, creamy vanilla sandalwood, but that brown sugar accord in here. Oh, guys, you gotta smell it. You gotta smell it. It's going to be a game changer, especially this springtime. Trust your boy from the brand of Narcotica. This is Narco Oasis. Trust me. 
All right, guys, and last but not least on this list today, I've mentioned this fragrance a few times, but it is one of my favorite fougeres on the entire planet by a long shot. And this one is called Boy from Chanel. All right, this is lavender, lemon, white musk, sandalwood, and vanilla. Jesus, this is beyond good. The vanilla in here, the lavender and <laughs> Oh, man. If you like fougeres, man, you can... I smell this thing. Soapy, clean. I'll be surprised if Aldehyde one here is really soapy. Clean, lemon, vanilla, fresh lavender. Dang, this is good. Boy from Chanel, you gotta smell it. I always say it's, it's called boy, but you're gonna be smelling like a grown man. A sexy one at that. Trust me. But that is it, guys. That is my time. I hope you enjoyed this list today. Go ahead and get some of these fragrances, man. There will definitely be some game changers in your collection. As always, I sincerely appreciate your time and attention to these videos. I know you don't have to watch, but you do. And I sincerely appreciate that. Now, don't forget to take a few moments to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you are sharing these videos out to some other folks that you think could use the information or find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy, Darren. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, keep looking good, keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.